Alright guys, we're just the end today without another G Fuel taste test reaction video. Today we have the sample and tub varieties of Phase X. Got this in the BOGO buy one get one Memorial Day sale at the end of May, beginning of June. And yeah, I'm really excited to have a Phase X tub. Okay, so I think I've got it open now. There we go. There we go. Pretty clean. Again, there's little strands. Look. <sighs> if anyone has a perfect technique, let me know. Last time I uh, opened my tub of shiny splash, I did it from this end like a dummy. I think you are meant to lift it from this side, but I don't think it matters too much. It's actually cleaner, perhaps doing it the other way, but then you get powder that's stuck to the lid. Going all over the place, so this way is a little bit better. And I can't see the scooper, <laughs> which is gonna be fun. Ah, oh, this scoop was way deeper than the shiny splash one, and it's making just as much of a mess. Okay, so I need to take this bit off, which was a pain last time. So if I can do it a little cleaner this time. Okay, not too bad, it's still a little sharp, but leave the scooper there. I don't want to do this bit. I'm gonna go quickly clean this mess up. Look at this, guys. Clean this mess up and wash my hands. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, we've got the scooper here. Scooper. And may even measure the sample pack into the scooper just to see how big a scoop is versus a sample pack. Because I haven't done this before. And also I can do the same thing with tropical rain, because I've got tropical rain as a tub as well. I think we're gonna do the sample in the white, because that's what I did last time. And I know I like the taste of the sample formula. So we'll see how different they taste. Oof. Okay. So I'm gonna try and dump the sample formula into this, this. Hopefully it's not gonna mix our results. Actually, I should probably do the tub one first. Sorry. That way it's definitely not mixing the flavor of the tub one, is it? I guess then the tub one might be influencing the flavor of the sample that you can't win. Um, so we'll do a whole scoop from the tub. Okay, that's a very nice level scoop, to be fair. It's probably the most I've ever put in one shaker. So that's in the black one. Move that back for a minute and then we'll try and do it with the sample pack now. Oops. Okay, so there you go, there's the scientific proof. There's already some that's fallen in, and that is a very heat scoop for me. So there you go. And a little bit went on my mouse pad. So and there's still a tiny bit left in the packet, so yeah, there is a bit more than a scoop in the packet, guys. So I'll get these mixed up and then we'll be back in a second. Let me just move this back a tiny bit, maybe. Just so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so that's a minute on that one. I'll give it another shape before I taste it. And here goes the sample back version. A little bit more than a scoop. This formula. More ice, it seems. The ice doesn't seem to have melted as quick. Maybe that's the difference between a white shaker and a black shaker, you know. Uh, if you guys remember science at school. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's sufficiently mixed. I'm just gonna leave these both here. You can barely see the color with the black shaker. With the white shaker, that looks beautiful. Really kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> someone, I said this in the last video, someone said like it's like putting baking soda and water together or something um so yeah be right back in a second i'm gonna go get two glasses if i can find some um that match and we can pour it out into the glasses as well okay so i think we're having a bit of a glass shortage as the dishwasher's filling up at home um but here we go we've got two of these same glasses i drink my coke from um but yeah i'm gonna put each of these into glass a little bit so this is the one from the tub this is the one from the sample pack 
I recall correctly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should have mixed. I forgot to do this last time. Should be alright. It's my own fault here. I don't want to put this part down the sink now because I didn't mix it completely. Um, may just put a little bit more in this one, see if that helps. No, it looks like the one that's from the packet is definitely a the more intense color. You can see that. This one looks way more translucent out of the tub. Whereas this one looks almost like milk. So let's see how they both smell. Okay, this smells like Fanta, the one out of the tub. Fanta orange. What about this one? Ooh, similar. Very similar. Yeah, they both smell very similar, to be fair. So let's see how they taste, I guess, out of the glass first. So this is out of the tub. Let's get into it. Hmm, <laughs> drank a bit too much of once there. Such a good flavour, honestly guys. Such a good flavour. This is my number one, you know. It's like tropical rain, but just better, I think. So the tub formula, great. Tastes just as good as I remember it from the sample pack. But let's see. Here's the sample pack one. <laughs> it looks much more um, less tra transparent. You know, looks much more milky. Mmm. Okay. Let me just go back to back. Probably should cleanse my palate just to be like you know 100% scientific but mm. okay follow it up again with the sample pack one they're both so similar If anything, like, because you can see from the consistency here, I would say this one is a bit more like, it's like, it's more creamy. Um, but that may be just because there's more, uh, there's more powder in the water, but it doesn't, doesn't seem powdery. It's just like a thicker formula than the top one. Hmm. Yeah, they're both they both taste almost exactly the same to me. Um very happy with this considering I bought a whole tub. Hope it tastes just as good as the packets and I think it does. Maybe I have to buy a little bit more than a scoop to get the real kind of same effect as this, but maybe it's just the difference in the formulas between the packet and the top. So, yeah guys, um, I guess that's it. Don't know what I should do with the rest now. <laughs> kind of want to drink the rest, but I also have PewDiePie still to try as a brand new flavour. Might have to leave that for another day though, because I really do like this. I don't feel like throwing these away. It's a great flavour. Once again, we'll just give it a shake. Just so you can see, 100% consistency. Actually, I don't think I actually tried them direct from the shaker either. Let's try it without the shaker as well. I'm 
so refreshing out the shaker. Still a tiny bit left in there. Um, let's try this one. I don't know if my microphone will capture the fizz. It's fizz in there. Mm. So let's taste it out of the shaker real quick. It's definitely lighter than the sample pack one, but it does not taste bad by any means. It's just lighter. And you can see that there. So maybe I'll have to see if, if I can achieve the same kind of consistency um, with the tub version by adding more powder and see if I can get it looking like this one on the right, which is more milky. Let me just give it another taste out of, out of the glasses. I'll probably have way too much G fuel here, guys. Someone else also came up with a very good theory, you know, with Phase X, that it's actually a combination of all the Phase flavors put together. So it's Battle Juice, Raging Gummy Fish, Tropical Rain. That's why I think it tastes similar to Tropical Rain, perhaps. Um, and, you know, people can't put their finger on quite what it is. Maybe it's all of them mixed together, but I don't taste the cherry from the, the Raging Gummy Fish, but it's very mild, so... People do say this is like a cherry flavour, I don't really get that. I'll just get the citrus. Let's try it again out of this one. The orange is definitely more present in the sample version, I think. And I love orange. This is like an orange juice. This is almost like orange juice. This one has more mild to it so yeah I don't know how much I've just drank there because I've still got this much both so yeah I may even mix the two into one shaker and just drink that for the rest of the day <laughs> and yeah this has been James Stalsey hope you guys enjoyed I'll get around to editing this when I do because <laughs> I have to transfer the footage off my phone I don't just record it straight to my PC off my phone so I've not worked that one out yet. But yeah. Phase X, my favourite flavour. Until I try Tropical Rain out of the tub versus the sample pack. Maybe I'm, I'll change my mind. But my dad tried the Tropical Rain and he tried the Bubble Gun. He didn't like either of them. He said, how the hell do you drink this? I thought it tasted awful. Tasted awful. But Shiny Splashes and Hype Sauce are like the most unanimously liked flavours. And I still think these, this is better than that. So... Anyway, this has been Joseph Stolz. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.